Staying with the musical theme, I'm sure you all know what a setup pun is, that you set up a narrative, often complicated, that moves toward a foreordained conclusion. And I had the pleasure of writing a book entirely with their musical puns. So, you know, the fairy Tinkerbell was um, rejected by uh, Peter Pan, and so she left Never Neverland, and her flight of fantasy ended in Fresno, California, and to make a living, uh, she became a waitress in a truck stop. Mm. And one day, especially rowdy group of uh, truckers came in and behaved very badly. They slopped chunks of food all over the place, all over the table. Uh, their language was inappropriate, and they left Tinkerbell a measly quarter, so the enraged Sprite literally flew into a tra tantrum, pointed to that poultry coin, and screamed, do you play it or not? It's the, okay, it's the wrong way to dip a fairy. It's the wrong way from home. And then even more famous, well actually my wife made that one up, but uh, is, you know, Roy Rogers, the singing cowboy, was bathing in a creek and he had these new boots. And then, uh, yeah, right, see Mensa, half of you know it. And the other of you get a retest. Um, so he took the boots off, he's in the water, and a cougar comes up and starts biting into the boots. Dale Evans, his wife, uh, that is Roy's wife, comes along, fires the rifle in the air, turns to Roy and sings, Pardon me, Roy, is that the cat that shoots you new shoes? <laughs> And the best of them all, and newer, is you all know about Mahatma Gandhi, the famous ascetic, political leader, non-violence, etc. Uh, and you know he had a very sparse diet, uh, which um, uh, made him very skinny. And actually, because of that diet, he developed terrible breath. If you look at the pictures of Gandhi, those black, you see the skinny guy here, and all his followers are on the other side. In addition, he never donned shoes because he wanted to be as much in touch with the earth as possible. And the result is a super callous, fragile, mystic, ex by Alan Dolan. And needless to say, excuse me, needles to say, just drop the S. That's called a curtailment from the back. If you want any of this, I send it to you, of course. So the other one that uh, is, um, you all know about Dean Martin and, of course, the song that he crew. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's on more. Well, the inveterate, or should I say invertebrate punster, cannot resist taking that. So of the 40 verses that I've put together, we're not going to put you through all that, but we're going to sing some of these, okay? When an eel bites your heel and a twinge, do you do feel that's a more? <laughs> when the heather and grass together they mask, that's a more A for our Canadian friends. Ray Charles gains, Ray Charles gained so much fame that his fans screamed his name. Sing some more Ray. If you want to have fun by being Top Gun, join an RA. that guns don't kill people, bullets do, but at any rate. <laughs> if your vitamins B, mainly C, D, and E, taste it's some more. <laughs> when Doc scans your head on a magnetic bed, that's MRI. <laughs> and finally, our cereal pun, its course it has run, so no more play. That's it. We did have one from our friend, ooh. is he here? Ooh, ooh, but there was Jim. Jim? Yes, Jim, did you have one? Stand up and stand, because I don't quite remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this, this Jim. Oh, if your single malt's made in the shade of the spade, that's Glen Moray. Glen Moray. <laughs> that's a good one. Hold it, we have another one. He tells jokes, he's a ham, his last name's Amsterdam. That is Moray. <laughs> Like about five people in the room remember Mari Amsterdam. <laughs> By the way, that is what 
Yeah, that's excellent. Good. You just go on and on. So we will. Here we go.